Hey friends, this is the Mrs. Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead and today Papa and I are going to try and clean our wax for use. <laughs> So this is all the wax caps and stuff that, that wouldn't allow anything else to run out of the spout of the cooler. So what we have here is one of my big canning pots and a strainer. It looks a little cloudy, but that's just calcium from my dishwasher, from our water. And I have here some fresh cheesecloth, and I'm just going to run some hot water through it. And now I'm going to unfold it. And I'm going to make nice, big, wide layers of cheesecloth in this strainer. We want the pieces to be big enough to fold over the top of the wax. Now before we can press this, we have to get a lot of the liquid that's in there out. Um, this has to drip and then we have to add more. So we'll be back when we're ready to press it. Okay, so this is the wax we got out of those, what? What did we have? Six frames? Ten. Ten frames. And this is, I'm going to say about two gallons of wax, dear. Maybe three. That's honey, dear. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing well today, folks. Um, this is about two gallons of honey. Over here... Um, we couldn't press it because the wax was just too heavy. So what we're doing is, is Wolfie's come up with the ingenious idea. Usually when we have this much wax and honey uh, left over, we would put it in a pot with water, bring it to a simmer to melt all the wax. Then we would strain it and let it cool and lift the wax off the top like we would with suet. But Howie's come up with the idea of just tying it like a spice bag and hanging it from this pot and putting water in here and bringing it to a simmer and letting the good clean wax melt and go through the cheesecloth and any bits of bee wings or um, propolis or anything like that left over will stay in the cheesecloth. I'm going to start by pouring some water over this. And I'm just going to turn the water on underneath it. So we're going to fill this up almost to the top, of, um, but halfway up the cheesecloth. I dare should do it. All right. So we're going to turn this on simmer and just let that wax melt. Okay. So here, if you look, you can see that almost looks like fat on top of the water. That is the wax starting to melt. Papa's holding uh, the thing here, and I've gone and wound this up to squeeze out every last bit of drop and as you can see what's squeezing out is solid wax. I, I'm going to say I got what a quarter inch of wax on top of that water. All right. And that is pretty much garbage. So we put the pot with the wax and the honey water out here. My goodness. Get a plate here. I'm going to try and keep it as much in one piece as possible. This will have to be washed off. Okay, here's our wax and now you want to make sure the water is cold not hot and we're just going to rinse the um, bits of pollen and stuff because I really it's really difficult to divide them we just want to make sure that all these little crevices have no more grit in them I'm going to dump this all onto a paper towel Okay, let's turn on our scale. We're going to dry off our plate. 
and we're going to hit, we're going to zero it off. And that's what that says. And we're going to take our wax here. And we're going to, maybe this isn't the best plate because I can't now, I now can't read my thing. We have here 12 ounces of wax. So I'm four ounces shy of an entire pound. So I'm going to say that's about $20 worth of wax. This is the Mrs. Wolfie from our half acre homestead saying, our own beeswax. How cool is that? Take care. Bye bye.